Ici, c'est la Galerie Focus avec l'exposition de Myriam Castellan. C'est le 10 février 2015 avec une tempête de neige d'or. Ici, on est correct. Alors, euh, Myriam a fait des saoris et il y a des trois exemplaires ici. So, this is an exhibition of uh, Myriam Castellan at the Galerie Focus here, the 10th of February 2015. And uh, I'd like to introduce you now to um, Miriam, who will uh, explain her work to you. Okay, so uh, I'm Miriam, and uh, I'm a weaver, and this uh, technique is called Sayori weaving, which uh, originates from Japan, and uh, it means that you weave from within yourself. You, you go out, um, so what you do is you express your own ability as to what you can weave or how you preserve or colors or how you want to interpret uh, everything. Uh, sa means self and ori means weaving. Um, so the idea is uh, to let creativity and imagination flow free through the use of color, textures, different fibers, joint composition and your own personal creativity. Uh, the philosophy behind it is that everything is individual and there's like no repetition because this is not made by machines, it's made by a person. So uh, personally, um, I, into my own weaving, I develop a lot of ideas that are important to me in my own life, uh, like my family. I've come to think my family is very important to me. Uh, my son, so I'm inspired by ideas uh, coming from there. And... Um, uh, you know, uh, they say that a picture says more than a thousand words, so it's also about uh, my parents, uh, who've always inspired me to be a creative person. Um, so, uh, for my son, because he's developing interests, I try to open like different channels, uh, you know, uh, to develop uh, these interests. Uh, it's about my friends and friendships I have and other people that I know and um, uh, involvements of other people uh, that stand up for a goal uh, or help people who cannot help themselves like special needs and as for instance um, uh, it's kind of like a movement uh, about multiple sclerosis so some people who do work uh, to, to you know, benefit the awareness about multiple sclerosis. And this is done in Holland, and what I do is I will use the colors. I will use the colors like orange and black and white, which they use in their logos to, you know, try to be like a parallel, um, you know, put ideas into it. It's more like awareness raising. So uh, the Sayoris are banners with stories, they tell stories to people and at the same time they, they are also practical means because they provide warmth and shelter in a certain way, you know, in the summer they can give shade, in the winter they can give warmth and you know, uh, you can also weave towels or tea towels or you know, practical uh, means and uh, that's all very important it's the movement and the, the concentration what yes. type of story can, can you give an example of the type of story uh, yes. well it can be for instance like you can be on a walk through the forest and you can interpret uh, but when i use like greens like this it's maybe the leaves in a tree mm -hmm. or you know the roots of the plants uh, you know, or certain movements you make, or it can be water, or you know, the white, it can be icicles. So, to me, it's like you, you take a walk and you look around you, and 
I think the things that you notice the most, that you observe, observe in the strongest way, yeah. that they come out through doing what you do when you weave, you know, like this a Sayori uh, technique. But when you weave, do you think about uh, stories? Sometimes, Sometimes, yeah, because your, your work is quite close to you, but, you know, you use certain colors, so when I work with greens, uh, you know, I think nature. Like nature, ecology, green stuff, you know. Um, you know, and, and white is like snow or icicles or, you know, I do choose my colors. And different colors will have different uh, influences too, like, uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, all black, it's black can be very deep and profound, you know, and actually it's, uh, I think it's no color in white. Black lacks color, you know. Um, but it's kind of playful, it's abstract, uh, you don't necessarily put a subject out, but you know, you go kind of more with your feeling or your emotions, you know. And it can be very precise, like this is very precise, you know. It's a, a very small say or you know, but you can like repeat like music, you know. It's very musical too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a nice big scarf at the same time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So these are my friends mm -hmm. for the video. This is my friend Franz. Oh. And who's also a bit of an artist somewhere. Yeah, you're an artist, knows uh, about musician. music, music, Painting. artist, musician. Marie Claude, who is my friend who is a painter and loves to work with colors. <laughs> Very colorful. And this is my friend Fate, who is uh, a friend to share things with. And uh, Abby is my friend who is making the video. It's the camera I'm in. And her. And ladies, a friend, welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but what I like about weaving is that it's so old, like the technique was used, you know, more than 2,000 years ago already, you know. And there are places in Africa where people still weave, like, in very, very, very simple ways. It's very simple, but you can do amazing things with it. All the hand weaving. And it was Gandhi who wanted everybody to weave their own fabric so they can make their own clothes. So that's a, a good source of inspiration right there. And, uh, I can add uh, a piece of historical information about weaving, which is that the first constitutions that were uh, codified in North America uh, was called the Two Row Wampum Treaty. And the Two Row Wampum Treaty was a weaving, but with uh, beads, and not fabric. Well, with a string, yes, but you know, with beads. And the beads were in a pattern that illustrated the, uh, the, the context of, uh, of the treaty. And for each paragraph, there was another, uh, another row of wampum. A wampum, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome very much.